they have two kinds of nitrate tests. They have high nitrate and ultra low nitrate test. I don't know why you'd want to test for ultra low because corals are fine and really low nitrate. So I've read that the ultra low or the low nitrate test is not the one to get if you're just going to want to test for, you know, regular nitrates in your water. The ultra low is also much more complicated to use. It was nothing like this whatsoever. This was simple, easy, kind of fun, really straightforward, worth the money. I recommend it. I'll put link down in the video description as I always do and in the first comment of the video. Okay. So you can get this if you want. So you know you're getting the right one. Well, indirectly by reading by many people, you want to go with the high range because the low range is a bitch to test for. So I just got this. Oh, look, comes with the Regents. They expire in 2028. They come with the two bottles. Come with the water adder. Come with this battery that you have to unscrew this to put it in. So once you unscrew the screw, you can't get this thing out. It's kind of stupid. And this decides it doesn't want to screw in straight. Is today going to be one of those days? All right, so let's do this together. Press the on off button to turn the checker on. All segments will be displayed for a few seconds. Yep. Followed by add C1. And we have that with press blinking. Yep, we've got that. Fill the cuvette with 10 milliliters of unreacted sample water and place, replace the cap. Insert the cuvette into the checker and close the cap. Let's get some water right now. Screw this on. Insert the cuvette into the checker and close the cap. Put it in. Press the on off button. When the display shows add C.2 with press blinking, the checker is zeroed. I guess we wait. I don't know if it's doing anything. One thing about being in the tech field, like I write instructions. Oh, okay, good. I want instructions to be clear because it said nothing about it blinking. I don't like that. It should say, and it shows you diagrams here. It should have shown it blinking. It says add C2. When the display shows add C2 with press blinking, the checker is zeroed. Okay. So now it knows what your water is. Remove the cuvette, unscrew the cap, and add the contents of one packet of this stuff, the regent. Replace the cap and shake vigorously for two minutes. You gotta make sure you get out. There's, what the hell? There's like not much in there at all. So I would suggest folding this, and tapping somehow. There you go. I mean, there's, I thought it was empty. There's like nothing in here really. I'll see you guys in two minutes. I'm gonna shake this for two minutes. 30 seconds in, it's like a light pink. All right, after two minutes, it's like a darker pink. Insert the cuvette into a fancy name for a bottle. Just gonna put that in there. Close the cap. Press and hold the on off button. The display will show the countdown prior to the measurement. All right, I guess press and hold. All right, actually worked. So that's seven minutes. So after seven minutes, it'll give us the reading, but does it show, you know how obviously your Test kit's gonna give you a card to show you what the reading is, if it's high or low. Do they have that? Look, they sell all these things that you can buy, even a cloth wipe for the bottles. Bottle cleaning solution, whatever. Like if, as an example, on here it says 15.3. What does that mean? What does that mean? So I guess I'll have to just use Google be nice if they included a little card show just telling you what if you're new to the aquarium hobby and you don't know what low medium high or super high nitrates are you know all test kits come with a card whatever 
After 10 minutes, this thing will just turn off on its own, so that's nice. Okay, three, two, one. Now we're gonna wait for the reading. 24.3 parts per million. Hannah, if you're watching this, which I know you're not, it would be nice if you included a little card so I, you know, new person to the aquarium hobby, it's like, oh, 24.3, and what does it mean? I, I have no idea. So I guess you are expected to know this if you're new to the hobby, or you just look it up. But there it is. There it is. Yeah, next time we'll do the alkal. I got an alkalinity one. I have a calcium one that I just got. I got a phosphate one that I just got. I got three Hannah checkers. I'm like, screw it, I'll just get the set. Let me know in the comments, do you guys use these? Do you guys like these? And which, which is your favorite one? I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.